Hello guys, welcome to Physics Insight. In this video, we will discuss how to calculate specific capacitance from the cyclic voltmeter. Specific capacitance is given by Cp equal to QMV, where Cp is specific capacitance. Q is charge. M is mass. V e is voltage. Here mass is which is kept in the electrolyte when we are using the cyclic voltmeter. So now, what is charge? Charge is basically just current into time, right? So by replacing Q in the first equation, we get it by mv right which can also be written as i by m v by d v by d is voltage per unit time and known as capital we will apply this can rate in the instrument okay so now Replacing this V by T by T, we get Cp equal to I by Mk. From here we get I equal to Cp and T. Let's say this equation as one. So now, let's, let us first discuss how a CV curve looks like. CV curve is a I versus P curve, which is something like, so now let's say this is V1, this is V2. Now we are supposed to calculate this area under IV curve. This is V voltage axis, this is current axis. Now area is defined as ITV from V1 to V2. Now putting I from equation 1, area equal to CP and P we link first from V into V2. Now, Cp, M and K are constant. Therefore, they come out from the integral and area becomes Cp, M and K, V2 minus V1. From here, we can say that Cp equal to area upon Mk into v2 minus v1 we can write v2 minus v1 equal to w which is potential window potential window is the range in which we are working that is between V1 and V2. So we get our specific coefficient expression as C equal to A by MP del V. We will use this expression and calculate the specific capacitance from the CV data. Let's see our next part and see how we use this expression to calculate the specific capacitance from CV data using origin we will plot work 1 scan rate and calculate the specific capacitance please like the video if you like it and please subscribe physics insight for more such videos thank you